morning everybody. It's morning for me. It might be morning for you when you're watching it. I don't know. It'll be morning when I put it out, so you might be watching it in the morning. Um, it's very snowy here, so I thought I'd dedicate today to bumper filming. I'm going to try and record three videos, but I probably won't get changed in between, so I'm sorry that I'll be in the same clothes for a few of my videos in the future. But next week's one, fingers crossed if we're able to make it to the knitting and stitching show on Sunday, which is the plan, um, it will be a haul of all the things that I've bought. But at the moment, everything's being cancelled because of the beast from the east. It's really snowy here where we are. It's not snowy in London, but here it's kind of been constant for three days and we haven't really been able to get anywhere. But oh, it's, it's all very chilly, so I won't be trying any of these clothes on, but I have pictures of most of them, so I'll just insert them. I've been quite productive this month, I'm quite pleased with myself. I have two things that aren't entirely finished, but they will be finished um, properly in the next couple of days, so I'm going to count them as February makes, but I will also show them in my March makes when I've got pictures of them, because I don't have pictures of them yet. But I will start with, um, I'll just say first that this is the outfit that I made for the Sewing Makes You Love Yourself challenge. I'll link that video um, somewhere or below or at the end or something like that. You'll be able to find it somewhere. Um, I made the trousers for the Sewing Makes You, Sewing Makes you Love Yourself um, challenge. And then I wore them on the day that I went to the Royal Opera House to look at the costume department because I knew someone that works there. So I had a lovely day looking around. I got a new mug at the same time. It's the Queen of Hearts from Wittarts. I'm drinking lemon green tea from Clipper. It's tasty and warm. Um, anyway, so I'll start with the top. Um, this top was actually a maxi dress from Topshop. And I got it in the sale and it was £1.50 and it was originally £55. So it was a bit pricey. Um, despite the fabric not being super great quality because I don't know if you can see here between the buttons um, the fabric has kind of run a little bit so it wasn't the best quality but what I did was I just um, chopped off the bottom where I wanted to and hemmed it I overlocked it and then hemmed it um, and I kind of wear it tied up um, at my waist under over a vest so it's not like you can see any skin but I just prefer the shape of it that way um, so that was all that I did for that, but this, which obviously I can't show you a pattern for because it was a, it was a dress, that goes with, ugh, I should have organised my pile a little bit better, goes with these marigold trousers, um, which, this is the pattern in case you're interested, it's the marigold, I did the trousers obviously from Tilly and the Buttons, I've used this pattern loads. Um, but I used some of the fabric that I got from when I cut the dress and I put that in the pockets. So the pockets match the top and then this fabric is from, it's coming up a lot lighter than it actually is in real life, it's much darker. It's a dark um, blue with navy checks kind of going through it, you can see that, it's a nice gingham. Um, and I've put my Handmade by Harriet label in there. This bit needs to be overlocked, that bit's not so neat, but the rest of the insides are nice and neat. And it's really nice fabric. I've double hemmed it so that you can't see any raw edges. But um, it is kind of a creasy fabric, but it was an organic cotton from Coco Wawa Crafts. And they're really comfortable. Very nice and warm. I have been wearing tights underneath them when I have worn them just because it is that cold <laughs> but um, they're really comfortable this is the second pair of the trousers that I've made I've also made two of the um, actual jumpsuits but anyway I really like those they're very comfortable and I've gotten a lot of wear out of them and I can wear the top separately and I can wear the trousers separately so pleased with that one um, next Ooh. These are my, this is the second pair of dungarees that I've made using this pattern. I've put it in a big envelope because the pattern pieces get quite bulky. So I thought it would be easier to have them in something that was A4 rather than the usual pattern size. 
and it's the Quixo K3897 and I've done this version, the shorter version, just because I'm so short so I think the longer version just if you're a bit taller but I used some some pink cord that was in my stash it's kind of I think in my blog post that I wrote about them I called it um, embarrassed salmon just because it's a bit pinker darker than salmon but still sort of a salmon shade and then I used these buttons which match the patch that is on there and they're both from Susie London the buttons came in a pack of six and the patch came on its own but I'm a big fan of red and pink, which, as you can see from the inside lining that I did, um, this was a remnant from the cotton and steel snap-to-grid um, fabric that I got from the Fabric Fox, which I'll try and link below. This corduroy I didn't pay for just because um, it was one that my Nana's friend gave to me that she didn't want anymore. It does, it has started kind of pilling on the inside, but if the fabric ends up not lasting that long and I've still already got loads of wear out of these the only thing that I might do is you might be able to see from the pictures but the bottom of the leg is a bit wide so I might cut the leg a bit shorter because it's a bit long and a bit wide so I'll cut it a bit shorter and then taper it in a little bit more but the fabric was a bit hard to press um, I got there in the end but it just it didn't really want to press but it was really easy to work with, I just used a jeans needle and I didn't do the same amount of top stitching on this pair of the dungarees that I did on my denim ones just because the fabric has quite a texture and you can't really see the top stitching anyway so I didn't see that there was much point but um, I did it in the necessary places so that everything lays flat and I'm really pleased with those, I've gotten so much wear out of them and I'd really like to make a pink denim pair so I might be on the lookout for some pink denim at the knitting and stitching show. Next, um, this top I will take off the hanger. We took the pictures for the this top um, the other week and it was when it was a little bit warmer than this obviously because it's so snowy now but it was really cold but I wanted to do it so that you could see the top and not have a coat over the top and then I got tonsillitis so hopefully <laughs> That didn't have too much to do with it. I know that, um, anyway, I'm rambling now. But I used, this fabric was from the So Haley Jane um, February box. The theme was Flora and Fauna. And this fabric was isn't really one that I would look at and pick up myself if I saw it at a shop or on a stool or something. It, w it wouldn't be one that I'd gravitate towards. But it was so nice to work with. It has a really nice drape. And the colour's really nice, it's just kind of the print that I wasn't so sold on at first, but the more I used it and the more I worked on it, um, the more I liked it. And this bit is my favourite, the little kind of strawberry bits. Um, but what I'm most pleased with on this is the inside. It's um, a really nice pattern, it's got good instructions. There was one bit when it came to the yoke, the inside yoke, that got a bit confusing and I didn't want to do it their way. So I used the instructions for the Alex shirt from the Sew Over at City Break book. So that the yoke is, all the seams are hidden on the inside. I'll turn it inside out for you so that you can see. Um, I did French seams on everything. Um, yeah, you can't see any of the seams on the yoke. I overlocked the sleeves and then I did a double hem again. So... There are no raw edges inside, it's got a really nice um, box pleat at the back. The only thing is that next time I'm going to do a smaller size, oh sorry, this is the pattern, it's the Colette Patterns Aster Blouse and I did version 1. I was going to do version 2 but um, it was a really lightweight fabric and I thought I'd be more likely to wear the short sleeved version in the summer rather than the long sleeve version. I wouldn't wasn't really sure when I'd want to wear it plus it would be quite a lot of fabric for um, it like the fabric would cover a bigger place whereas with version 1 there's a bit more skin so it's more do you know what I mean it's kind of hard to explain but um, that one there are like pleaty details on the shoulder and I just thought they'd get lost anyway so yeah version 1 is the one that I made I made it in a size slightly bigger um, because I made it to my bust measurement rather than anything else and it's kind of too wide on the shoulders 
so next time I'm either going to add a bit to the neckline um, so that it's a bit smaller or I'll just size down but yeah I'm really pleased with this one it also fits mum so we're going to be sharing this and um, yeah nice I didn't do buttonholes because I can fit it over my head but I just use little white ones you can't even see them there there's one <laughs> a little white button also got my handmade by Harriet labeling what's next oh these two things the last two things are the ones that I haven't completely finished but they will be finished by the time this goes up the first one is I'll talk yeah I'll talk about this one first where's the pattern uh, I haven't got the instructions which I did just have but anyway never mind I'm sure you all know which pattern I'm talking about I made the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo Pinafore, which I hadn't made before. Um, but I've made it out of this poly wool blend. It's 80% wool, 20% um, polyester, and it's really nice black. It is black, you just can't see that it's black. If I hold it back here, you can see. Um, and the lines are actually stitched rather than printed. And this fabric was so lovely, it was sent to me by someone in Texas and I'm so grateful because I've been saving it and I didn't know what to do with it. Much like that Alice in Wonderland fabric that I still haven't decided what to make with just because it's so pretty. Um, but I did the pocket on the front, I kind of, I tried to pattern match it so that the stripes weren't interrupted. Um, and then on the inside, instead of just the facing kind of going where the pattern piece said, I went across so that it covers the whole of the inside bib um, yeah I did that one on the front and this one on the back which matches but I ran out of this one <laughs> and the only thing that I actually need to do is hammer on the clips because I'm going to do the dungaree clips rather than the buttons um, this fabric was also really awkward to press but it got there with a little bit of steam obviously you have to be careful with wool but um, I did it in a very careful way and everything was safe and the wool didn't the wool didn't panic or anything but I'm really pleased with it it's a really nice fabric and where I've because it's not got that much structure it has got some structure but it's not super thick so it doesn't hold the shape but when I've tried it on I really like the way that it hangs um, I think if it had been any more structured it would have been quite unflattering on me so I'm really pleased with the way that it has gone and I've made the mini version and I will I might wear this to the knitting and stitching show I haven't properly decided what I'm gonna wear I guess we'll find out on Sunday but that's that one and I'll show you that properly if you follow my Instagram you'll see that or I'll write about it on the blog or you can just wait until the March makes and then finally oh I've slouched sorry I'll sit back up again finally I have been making oh my goodness so if you've been watching this channel the only thing I've ever made in Jersey was the Minetta dress for the Minetta, Minetta party sorry just gonna have a sip and um, that was kind of when I was starting sewing and I'd sort of been put off Jersey by that um, it didn't go particularly wrong I just didn't feel the need to sew anything in Jersey but then I've seen a few people sew this pattern, which is, you can't see it, it's too shiny, um, which is the Rowan pattern by Megan Nielsen. And you get six variations um, and ideas on how to customise it on the instructions in one pattern. And it's a bod you can have it as a bodysuit or as a top and there are three different necklines. And for each neckline you can have it as a bodysuit or as a top. But what I find is, although bodysuits are awkward to do up and kind of uncomfortable a lot of the time, they are really useful when I'm using my crutches or the wheelchair because if I just have something tucked in it sort of rides up a bit and it ends up, um, my skin gets cold because I have a bare back or something. Um, but the bodysuits are really handy for when I'm doing that because no matter how much movement I have they're done up underneath so they're not going to um, end up making me cold. So the one that I've been doing, because I've been going to this class, a local class, where all you need to do is just take what you're kind of struggling with or what you need help with, and you could just do whatever you want. It's not like, this week we're going to be making this. You just take your own thing and you can do whatever you want, and it's more of a social thing than a lesson. So I took the jersey because I was scared, and I am so pleased with how it's coming out. It's not 100% finished, like I said, 
but um, I, all I need to do is the neck band and add the poppers on the bottom. I've made, oh my goodness, it's washing everything out. I've made the v-neck version with um, as a bodysuit. Um, I also need to hem the sleeves. But I've used, I can't remember what this fabric is from, but it's from Somi Sunshine. It only just about has enough stretch, so I made the size above what I was gonna, what my measurements are, because it's all negative ease. Um, just because I was a bit worried and I've stabilised the shoulders and I'm gonna, I've kind of tacked it all together for the moment because I wanted to make sure it fit first um, but I'm gonna do it all on the overlocker rather than with a stretch stitch just because I prefer the finish of that um, and I'm so pleased, it's so comfortable, it fits perfectly and basically what I've decided is that I'm going to be buying everything jersey at the weekend. Everything jersey. I'm going to buy so much jersey and the next couple of months all you're going to see is jersey. Especially because Tilly's book is coming out. Oh, so excited. I actually, because I went to do work experience last June or July, I went up to the Tilly HQ for a day. And one of the patterns, which is one that Alex models from So Happy, Alex from So Happy, it's the kind of sequined, I'm not sure if it's a skirt or a dress, but I spent all day unpicking the sequins in the seam allowance so that um, you didn't have to sew over the sequins and it didn't break the needle. That was such a long job, but I was able to see all of the patterns in the book, so I've been so excited about them for ages. And the one that I'm most excited to make is that dress, I can't remember what it's called, that dress with the frill that goes around like a front yoke. Oh, I can't wait to make that one. I think that's definitely going to be the first thing I make in March. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just really quickly wanted to put out that um, for my website, the Clothing Care Co website, not my Hobbling Handmaid's website, they'll both be linked below, um, I have recently upgraded so that I have a shop attached to the website but I'm so confused, I've tried to list things and then when I've tested buying them it says it's not available in your country so if anyone has any experience using WooCommerce with WordPress please can you email me to let me know what I'm doing wrong, I don't understand it I'll leave my email address below but I'd really appreciate any help that anyone might be able to give me just because it's so confusing and I'm going to be listing the stain removal book, the stain removal guide on there in the next couple of weeks for pre-order because I've written an article for Susie magazine um, and so you can pre-order it from when that comes out but I don't know how to list it, it's so confusing so if anyone knows how to help I'd really appreciate that but anyway, until then, have a great weekend if you're going to the knitting and stitching show I'd love to know what you bought or if you see me there, I'd love to see what you've bought already um, and yeah, I hope you have a great time. I hope it's not too cold where you are. And I'll see you soon. I'll be doing my haul really soon. I'm so excited. Bye!